can you share with us how long you've been you've been doing what what you're doing and how many clients and patients that are in your database that have been helped by this methodology? Well, as far as the laboratory is concerned, we established the laboratory in 1999, and in the period of the last almost 11 years since the laboratory was established, there's over 50,000 patient panels in the database. As far as my personal experience, I started life in a practice in Las Vegas, not knowing that 28 years ago that I would wind up in the absolute mecca of circadian disturbance, malnutrition, and sex steroid dysfunction on the entire planet. Now in retrospect, I understand why. And I learned a tremendous amount in a clinical environment. However, I've learned so much more in research and focusing on these specific areas and watching how people who had given up hope flourish in such a tremendous way that their lives change so dramatically and the, the aspect of life quality is enhanced to such a great extent that the goals that they establish for themselves on a daily basis as well as their long-term goals can be accomplished. Nobody could accomplish their, their goals if they're always, always feeling tired or if they're always craving a, a destructive type of food or they're always looking for a way to escape physically or emotionally. However, when you start to benefit on a protocol like this and you realize that half of it's supplementation and support, the other half is education that you're learning more about yourself, you're becoming more aware and more observant. So you establish a certain relationship that didn't exist before and nobody's a better doctor when it comes to you than you. Nobody knows more about you than you do. It's just a matter of knowing where to seek guidance in order to be able to normalize the activity not only on, on an endocrine or neurotransmitter basis, but enhancing the effectiveness of everything that we do. You should feel energized after a meal. Most people feel like going to sleep. One should be able to endure a certain amount of physical or emotional abuse and have enough of a buffer mechanism not to feel the repercussions days, weeks, or months after the fact. So this is a way of being able to provide that foundation. And you know when you're building anything, it's all based on the foundation that you provide. If you build something on a weak foundation, it doesn't take much in order to break it down. When it's built on a strong foundation like this, it will endure the, the worst of the worst of events and still be able to rebound without long-term repercussions. And I believe that's the primary aspect of why it's so important to do something like this in this particular fashion with this kind of scope as opposed to just focusing in on a single element that may or may not be the answer.